get something straight right from the start. I adore Melissa McCarthy. I love Melissa McCarthy. I think she is the reigning queen of comedy. Not since Lucille Ball have we had someone that come along in a couple generations that is so talented and her comic timing is impeccable. Unbelievable how good her comic timing is. So, sometimes the mighty have fallen. Sometimes they stumble. And sometimes we like to just pounce on her, which is totally wrong. What I'm trying to say is, why do we have to be cruel to someone who gives us so much pleasure, so many laughs? I'm sure you've heard the story about the Entertainment Weekly article that criticized her from her last film, Tammy, about her physical appearance. What in the world was that all about? What was the point of all of that? I've been a critic for 20 years. I would never make fun of someone's size or say it was something really cruel. I mean, she went on The Ellen Show. It was like, if you saw it, my heart goes out to her. Melissa, I love you. We all love you. Shake it off. Let's get to Spy now. Your new film where you're a systems analyst for the CIA, but you're a lot more than that. But you currently help Jude Law, who's the, who's the super spy in the field, and you're in his ear. So you're using surveillance, you're using all your, your expertise to help him with his mission when something goes wrong. Very wrong. To where you have to become the agent in the field. Now, here's what's unique about the film. If this was just a movie, say, like, you know, the Bill Murray film, The Man Who Knew Too Little, where he thought he was actually in this dramatic real-life play that was acting out with spies, but he actually got involved in a real spy plot, if she didn't have any talent, meaning if her character, Susan Cooper, if she was just getting by by things going her way by luck, the movie would have failed immensely. But here's what happens, folks. Her character is a badass, but she just doesn't have the self-confidence. She can use weapons. She can do intelligence. She can follow. She can fight. If you see this woman rise to the occasion in this movie, you're just going to be blown away by Melissa McCarthy, how agile she can be and how funny she is. So the, the beginning of the movie, she has no self-confidence, and she runs into a rogue agent from the CIA, played by Jason Statham, who's trying to tell her to get out of the way. You have no experience. Let me handle this. But every time he shows up, she has to save him. So classic turnabout there. Very, very funny. And what's also great about Jason Statham this is here's the, one of the movie's biggest tough guys of lock, stock, and two smoking barrels, transporter, even to uh, the latest Fast and Furious 7, that he shows up and just does these in, ridiculous monologues about his past experiences. Like he's trying to convince Melissa McCarthy, like, look, I know how to take care of myself. I, I swallowed 40 different kinds of poison. I was trapped here. He just goes in these long drawn out monologues of his past experiences that bores everyone. And it's him. He does it with a straight face, which just cracks you up. Melissa McCarthy talks about how she could not even get through many of those takes because they were on the fly. The director, Paul Feig, would just show up and give these insane monologues for Jason Statham to go through. Also, we have a villain, Bobby Cannavale, who's uh, trying to get a nuclear weapon. There's diamonds involved, a counting clock, all that stuff. You know, the movie is like in the vein of... of, of uh, the movie's in vein of Austin Powers, uh, also the, the Peter Sellers films, the Pink Panther movies. You know, so she takes this character that we've seen before, but makes it her own. And it's hysterical, folks. She is not only back, she is back on top. It's vulgar, it's rated R, so just be kind of careful. You know, it's not for the young at heart, uh, the younger kids, because there's a lot of swearing and a lot of a lot of great one-liners, just like Will Ferrell had like an anchor man. She just, in Rose Byrne, who plays one of the other villainesses, she plays it with a super deadpan face who just can't be bothered. She's the perfect foe for Melissa Cooper's character, Melissa Cooper. <laughs> Susan Cooper is the character in the movie. Melissa McCarthy plays Susan Cooper. Clear on that? What am I talking about? Spy is great time, great fun. Melissa McCarthy, you're back. Spy is a laugh riot. And Paul Feig, director Paul Feig, has a lot of credit too. He spotted this script. He worked with her. He he knows to let Melissa just go wild. You know, she he just sits back and he, she tells stories about how you can hear him laughing on the set. Ah, Paul Feig, he's such a genius. Freaks and gigs, where are you? Freaks and geeks, this is my show. I lived this show. I was Sam in high school. I'm not kidding. I'm, it's not based on me in the TV show, but I identify with Sam because that was me. I was the ultimate geek in high school. Paul Feig is a genius when it comes to comedy. Boy, I'd sure like to meet him someday. All right, for more reviews and interviews, just surf on over to our website at VegasFilmCritic.com. I'm going to do that again because I'm sweating like a whore in church.
Spy is a laugh riot. It's one of the best summer comedies out there. If you want to have a good time, I highly recommend it. I give it a grade of B. All right, for more reviews and interviews, just surf on over to my website at VegasFilmCritic.com. Make sure you head over to iTunes and grab my podcast. And if you like what you see here on YouTube, please subscribe. I'm Jeffrey K. Howard. I'll see you next time. All right, where's Freaks and Geeks at?